Hello, today I am going to explain to you how we can put drawings from Rhino to Illustrator and make it look pretty for printing. So let's get started. So I will open a recent project. I have done a floor plan and a section. So we will continue from there. So this is two floor plans and one section. Okay. So the thing with Rhino drawings is like we have different layers Okay, and all objects belong to different layers with different colors which is good for drafting but when it comes to printing it is not really good so what we'll do is uh, we'll take this drawing into illustrator so we select this drawing okay and say file export selected then we select illustrator as the file type then we put into on desktop desktop and say ground ground floor and it's a 200 scale drawing at A3. So I'll set up the dimension of the drawing scale. So 200 millimeter gets transformed into 1 millimeter on paper. And then I say OK. Then I'll go into Illustrator, File, Open, Select Desktop, select the file that we just created and say update okay so this is generally where students get stuck like i can't see the drawing on the canvas okay so rhino basically exports the coordinates of the file as well when it exports the drawing so based on the coordinate your drawing will be far away like if you see in the rhino my coordinate is over here but the drawing is here that's why in illustrator the drawing is placed here so you simply select the drawing drag it to the canvas okay then you make sure that your paper size is set correctly so it is an a3 okay so the artboard command and then you select the paper size if it's a non-standard paper size then you put your dimensions over here like a tabloid you can put 11 by 17 okay and then if you see the line weights are not really set correctly even the colors are set uh, you know as per the rhino file so what we'll do a quick shortcut okay select the any one curve okay go into selection same and say fill color okay so technically any every stroke object will have a fill which is none okay there is no fill color okay so technically all lines will get selected by this operation okay everything gets selected now you press shift hold shift command shift button on your keyboard and click on this arrow by doing that you can select white and black or any custom color by an eyedropper okay so you select black color okay and then you set up your line weight to be let's say 0.5 okay so technically if it's a pixel or some kind of a different unit type you can go into edit preferences units and you can change your units from over here to let's say millimeters okay so okay so now you can see that all your line weights are set to 0.17 which is pretty fine you can go finer to 0 0.05 also which is an hairline okay now what we do is now you can see the line weights are set pretty thin okay now another thing what we can do is change the text so we can select the text okay so if you want to select all the text at one instance go select objects and all text objects so all your test of text objects get selected you select here and say black okay and if you want a special text style you can select over here okay so this is for the text and now if you want to add some textures to the drawing for example toilets could be hatched in a tile texture okay so what we do is we go into layers we create a new layer okay let's put it low okay and then we create a rectangle box for the toilet okay and then over here if we go into a library okay i click on the arrow for the fill go into the library and say pattern 
basic hatch and say line hatch or a texture hatch okay now this texture hatch will come on the window you can move to the left you can see some grid textures okay so this is one grid texture this is a finer grid texture okay so you can select this texture okay if you want to make it finer you can right click on it say transform and say scale now if you say 50 okay now right now it is scaling the object as well as the pattern but if i uncheck the object only the texture gets scaled okay which is fine okay same thing if you want to do it on the other areas you can do it like cafe and probably a store okay yeah and that's good similarly for the section is it, it will be just a revision of all the steps okay so if we go into the rhino okay we select the drawing for the section okay and then file export selected and i'll say section 200 a3 and this continues from the previous export it saves the data say ok now i'll go file open section ok similarly th it is on the right side of the origin that's why it's located here ideally if you find it hard to locate your model then better to put your drawing on the origin okay and uh, export it the way to put the drawing on the origin is probably select the mod drawing say move m enter select the center point of the drawing and say 0 comma 0 comma 0 okay that's the best way to put the object to the origin okay and then same thing over here i select one of the lines say, uh, this one say select same fill color all objects get selected now i press shift and press black okay and put a line weight let's say 1.15 okay so all the line weights get changed to 0.15 okay I will not do much of decoration right now okay probably we, if we want to put some people inside okay you can go into uh, Google find some people so people TWG blocks okay probably this one let's say I cut this one okay I put it into the okay i can just fit to screen right now okay say control c put it onto the section control v okay now we have to make sure that this person is to the scale okay now how do we make sure that this person is to scale is to make check the height of the object so right now it is 11.6 millimeters okay so if you want to check the check the height of a person on the drawing okay so one is to 200 scale okay so if you do a um, cross multiplication okay so if you say one is to 200 means one millimeter on paper is equal to 200 okay so that means if x millimeters on paper is equal to 1800 or 1700 for example the height of a human being okay so in that case 1700 divided by 200 is the height on the paper so as a calculator 1700 divided by 200 8.5 millimeters okay so i have to make sure that this person is 8.5 millimeters yeah this is fine okay now probably the colors need to be 0.1 again
you can make this one group it and even make it 50% opacity similarly you can put mod people like that I hope you like this video if you like it do subscribe and if you want any more personal tutorials you can send me a message on rhinoprof.com I am happy to help you thank you